Hi, welcome to my video on the DJI Mini 4 Pro and cruise control. Let's go out into the field now and see cruise control in action. Cruise control can be added to any movement of the drone. Forwards, backwards, sideways, upwards, downwards, and turning to the left or turning to the right. But you have to have movement or momentum for cruise control to engage and work. The best way to start and stop the cruise control on the DJI drone is to pre-program it to work with the C2 button on the back of the controller. The way you do this is you go into the settings for the C2 button, press the control tab at the top and scroll down and go to button customization and then pick up the C2 button which is at the top. The C2 button will then toggle the cruise control on and off as you press it. Let's take a look at cruise control working in the field now. Drone's up in the air, we're going to start to fly forward by pushing the right stick forward. I'll push the right stick forward now. Drone will start to fly forward and then I'm going to enable cruise control by hitting the C2 button. It's cruising along, then I'm going to hit the C2 button again now, and it's disabled it. Now I'm going to put two or three layers of cruise control on this next flight. So we're flying forward. First layer is flying forward. Second layer, I'm going to start to rise and put that in. And the third layer, I'm going to turn to the left and put that third layer in. So I'm pressing the cruise control as I'm putting the action in. And you'll see we've got three actions now working and now I hit it again the C2 button and we've disabled the cruise control. Now that happened quite quickly. The three layers that I put in moving forward, rising and then turning to the left, you have to be in motion to put the cruise control on. So here I'm going flying towards me, I put the first layer of cruise control on, I'm coming down and I put the second layer of cruise control on and then I'll just disable the cruise control now. This layering of cruise control it makes it really powerful. This time, let's come back to just using one cruise control at a time. We're flying forward with the right stick, very slowly. It's cruising at 0.8 meters a second, as you can see. Then hit the button now, and the cruise control is disabled. Let's start again, going forward. Hit the C2 button, it's enabled. Going forward, and then hit it again, and it's disabled two simple flights there. Let's take another look at this and we'll try and layer a couple more over the top of each other. So this time I'm going to fly forward with the right stick, I'm going to enable cruise control with the C2 button, then I'm going to update with the second layer, I'm going to turn to the right. And I've got three layers in there in quick succession. Then hit the C2 button to disable the cruise control. Here is another location Cruise control is enabled at a really smooth and slow speed. You can see it's cruising along really slowly at 0 0.6, 0 0.5 meters per second. This is where cruise control is really useful because you can maintain this really slow speed. And I've just disabled that now just by pressing the CT button. Let's pull it back again and start again. So I'm going to start to push forward now with the right stick. I'm going to enable that speed at just over one meter a second. I'm going to start to turn to the right and put another layer in. So the turning layer is in now. And it's going to continue and then I'll disable it there. This time I'm going to put four cruise control layers. So the first one is going forward at a slow speed. We're then going to start turning to the left and I'll overlay the second layer there. So that's now installed. This time I'm going to speed the drone up a little bit. So this is the third layer. I'm going to increase the speed from 0.6 up to about one meter per second as you can see there. And then finally we're going to drop the height on the fourth layer so the drone is going down. Is it coming down now? And then I'll just disable the cruise control and there we go. To recap, the drone needs to be moving forward or upwards as you hit the C2 button, then that enables the cruise control and you will continue at the speed or the height or the varying height that you've set. And you can enable different layers of cruise control on top of each other. 
start going forward, then start to change the height, then start to turn, all these can be layered over the top of each other. But you have to be moving or rising as you hit the C2 button for it to enable the cruise control. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.